Hello, thank you for joining me for the Avaya Oceana Reserve Agents. My name is Shelly Shaffrey and I'm with the Avaya Professional Services Team. Today we're going to talk about reserve agents, specifically what they are and how to configure them. So for Oceana, you can have a reserve agent that's only pulled into a channel when a threshold has been passed. So these thresholds are turned on and off by your configuration within the Avaya Aura Control Manager. So we're going to walk through how to configure a threshold, how to assign it to an agent, and what the agent actually sees when this configuration is completed. Now, for reserve agents, you will be creating a template that can be applied to any agents, to all agents. You can create different templates for different agents. The really important thing to know is it can be on a per agent level, but the thresholds themselves that are turning it on and off are a system level threshold. So let's look at how that's set up. So first we'll start with configuring the actual thresholds. So the path to do this from Control Manager is going to be Home, Avaya Oceana, Thresholds, and then Oceana Routing Threshold. Now there's two different thresholds that you can work on there. You want the Oceana Routing Threshold, not the Avaya Analytics Thresholds. That's going to be for reporting. That wouldn't help you here. Now once you're at that menu, you would click the little plus arrow here plus in order to create a new threshold. So this is the screen you're going to see. Now, unlike some of the other configuration that you do in Control Manager, it's very important that you put in a channel here, okay? Because we're turning people on and off as reserve agents by channel. So if you don't have a channel here, it's not going to function properly. So in our example, we're going to do email. And then the rest of our attribute set that we're going to trigger off of is going to be interaction type sales. And you can have more attributes in here. It's whatever that incoming contact is going to have as their attribute set. That's what you're looking for. Now, the important configuration down here is going to be our service level objective and our reserve level. Okay, so service level is the desired answer time. How quickly do you want this? incoming contact to be answered by an agent and the reserve level is when do you want to pull in these reserve agents now the service level has to be lower or equal to the reserve level so I couldn't put my service level as 60 seconds and pull my reserve agents in at 45 I could set them both to 60 but I couldn't make the reserve level lower than the service objective now, one thing you should be thinking about when you're setting this up too, is how often do you really want to pull agents in? If you make the reserve too low, you'll be pulling agents in and out constantly. If you make it too high, then you may never pull in the reserve agents. So this may take some tweaking and some reporting and some baselining before you get the right configuration for your setup. Okay. Once you've finished that, you would click the little save button and your routing threshold would be created. The next piece we're going to do is we're going to make the actual user template that we will assign to the agents. So to do that, you're going to go to Home, still in Control Manager, Resource Manager, Templates, and Oceana User Templates. Again, we're going to hit the little plus here to create a new template. From here, all we're looking at is the reserve agent configuration down here. You're going to pick the channel that you're going to have this agent be a reserve on. Okay. So first you're gonna give it a name, pick your reserve channel, and then you would click the save at the top. So our example, we were doing email, so that's what we're going to pick. Now we have to apply this template to the users that we wish to be reserve agents. Right now we've created the threshold, we've created the template, but we haven't actually applied it to a user. So we're going to go to the Home Users section and select the agent that we're interested in changing. We would go to the Oceana tab here. We would assign the template we created. And then very important, we have to make sure we turn that channel on for our agents. If the, the channel isn't on, we can't really pull them in to be a reserve agent in that channel. So you have to make sure it's enabled. When you were done with that, you would click the Save button, and this would now be applied to this specific agent. So not everyone, just this Oceana Lab agent at this point. 
Okay. So let's walk through the flow of what this actually looks like. In our example, we're going to be talking about an SMS message. So an SMS message comes into sales. It sits for 60 seconds, which is our reserve agent threshold. So that is going to be triggered at that point. If there's any agents that are configured as a reserve agent, they will be notified and presented with the SMS message. So let's see what that actually looks like. So from an agent perspective, you get this down here. You have been set as a reserve on a channel. It doesn't tell you what channel. You can see what channels you're enabled for over here. We have chat and SMS. And you will immediately be presented with the card if you're available. So this is an incoming SMS message. Now, if the threshold goes back down, there are more people available, SMSs are being handled faster, there's nothing sitting out there longer than the 60 seconds we configured, then the agent's also going to get a new message which is here, it'll pop up and say you have been removed as a reserve on a channel. Now you'll still keep your contact that you're working, you'll still be able to finish it up, but you won't get a new SMS. You've now been removed from that channel. Okay. All right, well that is how you configure an Oceana Reserve Agent. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you can reach out to us through any of these methods here. Thanks again.